the distance is probably it's probably about 160 feet so you've probably gone down about 80 feet and there's probably about 80 feet to go and there's the loud <clears throat> and then the <laughs> splintering of wood and you you hear a kind of a rumble above like the the tumbling of rocks so we run you run i'm just gonna jump down to the bottom yeah you can. Can. um you've got about 80 feet to go there is no railing it is just walk carefully you hear the sound of rumbling is increasing and you can feel the shape and you can feel the of the steps starting to i will pop into a giant eagle and make a dive okay so delphine do you just jump are you fine you've got 80 feet to jump i'm gonna try to like kind of like slide down you know like <laughs> the rest of us are like run 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 you just watch delphine be like watch this shit and she just leaps off the edge and sort of like push and sort of drag your way down the wall on one side and kind of drag your way down and pop back and forth and parkour parkour monk shit all the way down <laughs> Craig, you are a giant eagle, so in your giant eagle form, you just dive immediately off the edge to dive down. Okay, yeah. the rest of you are running, I take oh, it. Yeah. Hi, fuckers! Make a dexterity saving throw, because the staircase is starting to shake and twist. Could I, like, hop down between flights? Ooh, you can make an acrobatics check. 20. 20. 20 natural 20 and i have a plus eight <laughs> i have a plus eight acrobatics oh, yeah. modifier i was not expecting to need that but so you you jump down and, and effectively cut off a good like 10 15 foot of the of the distance in your in your leap um 13 was it do you say for zolos right so you slip and start to slide off the edge of the staircase we'll come back to you in a minute um Next. 17. 17. You keep your footing and you continue running down. Odessa, I, I, I you have make thrown. a dexterity saving throw um, as the stairs are starting to twist and turn as you are running. 12. 12. You, like Zolos, do not maintain your footing of the staircase without railings and you slip over the edge. Both you and Zolos are falling the 80 feet. Can I see this happening? Yes, Craig, you have seen what has occurred. <laughs> Desert and Zolos, you are in free fall. You have an opportunity now to try and grab some of the scaffolding as you are falling to save yourselves. You will need to make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Should Ray no. make it? Oh, shit, no. Oh, oh, no. She falls. I, okay. well, I will endeavor to do that thing that birds do and sort of flip over on my back and try and grab whoever You're I can. trying to pluck someone out of free fall. How did you guys do? What did you roll? 30, 20. You uh, grab on and pull yourself yes. up. You're now about 40 feet from the bottom. 16. Just does it. You're successfully- nails. <laughs> like, <laughs> like digging shavings off of the wooden staircase. Um, you will be able to pull yourselves back up in a second to continue your flight down the stairs. Craig, you are going to attempt, therefore, I assume, to try and pluck Rhea out of the air. What it will be um, is going to be a dexterity um, check. Fifteen. I'll say you just about manage it. You grab her. It is. She drags you down. So there's a hairy moment where you think you're going to hit the ground with force anyway, um, and you successfully just managed to kind of like grab her enough to not plummet into the ground with the momentum of her free fall. I have my rope and my little grappling hook. Can I, is there anything to like, can I like latch it onto one side of the stairs and jump off the other? And like zip line yourself down? Uh, rappel down, yeah. Yeah. Um, make it, a, an acrobatics check. Um, that would be 11. Okay. So you, you in the perfect like rogue dramatic motion, you've got your grappling hook and you just whip it around the edge and then you just launch yourself off the edge. And it's going great. You drop down about 20 feet and then the board that you had latched onto just ba-choom, comes away and now you're falling. Okay. I'll come back to that. Um, Nick Snova, are you continuing to just run? Yeah. Make another deck save. Eight. All right, yeah, you fall. Okay. 
<laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage to try and grab yourself. Oh man, I had an 18 and an 8, so 10. That doesn't do it, I'm afraid. Mix, you are just going to plummet oh. to the ground. Craig oh. is coming for you. Ooh, Craig, I do not know if this is going to be fast enough. Well, can I at least break her fall a little bit? I think what what that'll be is that then I'm just going to split the damage between the two of you, if that's what you're going to try and do. Because it's yeah, just the projectile hitting you. That uh, works. Odessa and Zolas, you have pulled yourselves back up. The cavern above you is definitely starting to cave. Why is this shit never simple? Can I do some hardcore parkour? Just so I can get down as fast as I can. Like, some jumps and some leaps. Make an acrobatics check. I got short, stumpy legs and I fucking trip over them. It is hard. The stairs are warping and twisting increasingly as you go. If Solos falls, we're fine. It's fine. Okay. Solos, there isn't time for you to try and grab. You are going to fall the full extent. That's 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Fine. And Odessa, what did you roll? 18. 18! Okay. You are parkouring your way down. Um, That'll take care of another 20 feet. So you've got about 20 feet left. You can attempt again to parkour your way down, or just a straight run, or if you feel like it, you can jump, because shit is falling in a major way. We'll get to what Eliana's been doing while this is going on. Um, big rocks are starting to fall, just... <clears throat> I'm gonna Assassin's Creed this and do, like, that that jump. <laughs> this one dive, are you attempting to, like, aim for someone to catch you? Great. No, I'm gonna try that somersault to, like, ease my... Yes, to ease the fall and break your neck. Pulling the ground, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Delphi, look at this monk shit." <laughs> okay, but effectively, what you are planning to do is swan dive, or forward flip, and land flat on your back on well, I'm a gonna stone do... floor. Are you, are you aiming for a bunch of feathers that looks like a giant <laughs> eagle? <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing the flip as I land, though. So, like, that, you're, that's going to hurt so bad on stone. No, but the, the the jump and roll is a is a definite thing. Like you roll to take off some of the kind of momentum and, and okay. Uh, so but... a twenty foot fall is going to incur bludgeoning damage. So you can do that, but I'm rolling two d sixes. Okay, trying to show off seven points of bludgeoning damage. You're like, yeah, look, Delphi, you definitely <laughs> and in it as your thigh. shins are poking out of your thighs. Oh, that was super cool. Okay, Eliana, you are in free fall. You have fallen from a height of 60 feet. At the 30 foot mark, you will have had enough time to have the opportunity to catch yourself, make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. That would be 11. Yeah, sorry. Um, That's (laughs) not good enough. And thus you are going to fall the full 60 feet. And take that impact. Can I try and roll as I land? Being a rogue, can I try and... It doesn't work that way. I know. <laughs> we just had this whole discussion. <laughs> okay, so you take 22 points of bludgeoning damage. I could have You been are worse. all... Yeah. It's been a very eventful day.